I apologize for the noise. They're drilling our well today at the house. So we've got this 55 gallon drum full of water and the pressure gauge. So I thought I would let the pump run this dry and uh, take various pressure readings as it pulls water from the barrel just to kind of get an idea of how the hydrostatic pressure works inside this tank. So let's give it a try. So I was thinking I could uh, maybe test it three different levels, like full, medium, and then low, to see what the pressure is in each. I'm not sure this is gonna stay up here this time. All right, so we're basically at zero right now. So I'm gonna turn this on and get some pressure building. All right, so we just about reached 20 PSI again. So the first third of the uh, rain barrel was able to accomplish 21 PSI. So let me uh, reset this and we'll see what uh, the next third can generate. So the next pressure made it up to 15 PSI. So it's lost five in that uh, one foot of uh, hydrostatic, hydrostatic uh, pressure. So now let's move on to that last little bit there. Let me drain this out. You can tell the pump is starting to slow down pretty good now. We're down to about one foot left in the barrel for this test, so I kind of expect it to stop around there because the pressure is dropping quickly. Six inches left in the barrel. All right, I think it's pretty well lost its pressure that closes that valve. All right, let's take a look at the pressure gauge and see what we have over here. So the pressure had gotten up to about five, so significant drop from previous uh, two tests. So not bad. And it did work until uh, about six inches left in the barrel. So <laughs> I'm pleased enough with that. Well, that might give you an idea of the kind of pressure that's in this barrel and uh, how it affects the pressure of the ram pump. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Atlanta House, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.